Hello everyone, in this problem we have to find the Thevenin's equivalent that is for the portion which is given inside this box. Okay, so let us see what uh, this circuit contains. So it contains two voltage sources, one current source, but inside the box there is only one independent voltage source and one independent current source. Okay, so to find the Thevenin's resistance, uh, we will go for the first case that is uh, the circuit which contains only independent sources. So, in this case what we have to do is we have to make the independent sources that is equal to 0. So, that is equal to 0 means the voltage source it will be shorted, current source it will be made open. Then only we can find the Thevenin's resistance. Okay, so we will do that. Here it is shorted so only 6 ohm and here the current source is open so only 4 ohm and here the 12 ohm resistor and here the terminals we can consider A and B. We have to find RTH from this position. Okay. So, let us assume that this is the load which is connected. We will disconnect that load now. Okay. So, now here what happens 6 plus 4 because these both are in series. See, you can see the same current will flow through this. So, this is in series that is 10 ohm. This will give you 10 ohm and 10 ohm it will be in parallel with the 12 ohm. So, 10 into 12 divided by 22. So, that will give you around 5.45 ohm. This is RTH. Okay, so this is your RTH. Next, we have to find out the Thevenin's voltage that is VTH, which is nothing but it is the open circuit voltage. How we are going to do that? Again, this terminals will be made open and we have to find the resistance means voltage across this particular resistance 12 ohm. Now, after finding RTH, we will bring back all the sources to its position. So, this is 18 volts, this is 6 ohms, this is uh, 4 ohms. And here it is uh, 2 ampere. Okay. So, this one it is a 12. This one I have to find it out. This is VTH. Okay. So, what we can do is we can transform this current source to voltage source. That will make uh, our calculation easier. So, this is as it is. 18 volt and 6 ohm is as it is. Here which is in parallel the resistance comes in series now 4 ohm. And here we can see that the arrow will be pointing towards the positive uh, source that is internally. So, we can write the polarity of the voltage source like this. So, it is pointing towards this. So, what will be the value of this? It should be I into R. So, 2 into 4 that is 8 volts and here we have 12 ohms. Since we have to measure this, we will not alter this. Uh, resistance. We have to measure the voltage across this particular resistance. So, we will not alter that particular branch. Okay. So, let us keep this as it is. We will simplify this. See, this is nothing but minus plus then plus minus. That means we have something like this. Okay. So, in this case what happens? We have to subtract. We have to take the difference of these two. So, 18 and 8 the difference will be 10. Okay, then what will be the polarity resultant uh, voltage source polarity? It will be of the larger magnitude source. So, larger magnitude is 18 volts. So, it will be plus minus. Okay, plus minus. Then 6 and 4 they are in series. So, I will take this as it is. And here once again we have 12. So, what is this voltage? It is VTH. It is 10 into 12 divided by 10 plus 12. That is nothing but it is the same calculation. So, our VTH will be equal to 5.45 volts. 5.45 volts. So, now let us replace this according to the part B. Okay, part B, we have to reconstruct this circuit. So, let us reconstruct. So, here we have Thevenin's voltage 5.45. Here we have Thevenin's resistance in series 5.45 ohm. Okay, now these are the marked terminals. I will bring back this one. Okay, that is minus plus 16 volts. This is 8 ohms. Okay, so now we have to find in the third part we have to find the voltage VA. Voltage VA is nothing but if I consider this as ground, this is the voltage VA. That is nothing but it is the voltage across the 8 ohm resistor. For that I will keep this unaltered. I will simplify these two now. See, plus minus then plus. So that means plus minus plus minus. So we can add these two, right? So 21.45. 21.45 this is 5.45 and here we have 8 ohm resistor okay so now you have to find out the value of this that is vth what will be the final answer just calculate it you will be getting it around 
12.76 volts. Okay, that is 21.45 into 8 divided by 5.45 plus 8. That will give you 12.76 volts. Sorry, it is not VTH, it is VA. 12.76 volt. So, this is all about the problem 9.11.